Here's our first step in our fall 23 roundup. Cora, good morning. Hey, girl. Hey, Cora. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. I'm Dusty, my wife is usually with me, Marissa, all part of the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. We're here at the Ponderosa and all the members of the Cross Timbers Bison family right here behind me. I'm out in the pasture. I've got Sam and Joel here. They're helping me uh, do all kinds of sorts of fun projects, putting on new gates. I've got an old gate here. Just got a new one installed right there, so I'm picking up some of this scrap metal and old gates, hauling them up to the front of the Ponderosa. A couple exciting things. One, we've got new merch coming, and I'll tell you the drop date for that. Two, we're getting ready for the roundup. Next video, we're going to get the Dunbar herd and bringing them all the way to the front. And they've been on the hay meta for a while now. Three, what's been happening recently? There's been a video crew out here. We'll tell you all about it. Uh, they do some filmography and stuff, kind of mini documentary stuff. They reached out to us wanting to put us on one of their episodes. Well, we spent a lot of time with them. Well, uh, while they were trying to get footage of the bison, I really wanted to try to practice with the Dunbar herd and get them ready to drive and get them ready to move to the new pasture. And so what I did was, while they were filming, I worked Woo! with the Dunbar herd and the Big Joe herd as well. It was great footage, early morning, beautiful footage. And I was getting getting good footage for them, but I was also working with both herds, practicing with the cubes in which gate we wanna go through. Take a look here of how I trained our bison to get ready for the roundup. Here comes Big Joe right here. What's up, big fella? And so what we did is, starting with the Dunbar herd, it was in the mornings we would go out. Uh, well, I took cubes with us every day and I was trying to position the bison in good place for some of the uh, you know strategic filmography, right? Trying to get those perfect scenes and perfect looks, right? Uh, so we did that and while I was doing that, I was practicing and I was pouring out the cubes, trying to get them to follow the ranger over and over into a certain direction, which basically I was replicating what they were about to go through, especially the Dunbar herd. We've got to get them to go from the hay meta, cutting through the burn unit, 80 acres of the burn unit, and straight into the nine acres, which is right behind me, and then eventually all the way to the front, which you'll see that on the next video. With the ranger, we pull out in the pasture, they get excited because they know cubes come with that. So as we're pouring out the cubes, I'm trying to drive them the same direction, kind of getting them ready mentally for the roundup. We've got a lot of great footage, as you can see here. Once we did the Dunbar herd, then we made our way to the Big Joe herd and we did a lot of the same footage. 
and we were trying to get the bison to go from the west to the east, which is all the way up to the Ponderosa is what we were trying to accomplish. And so we were able to do that. While they were getting their footage, we were working on driving those bison and pulling them really, not really driving them, mostly pulling them up to the Ponderosa, just kind of getting them ready. These guys are pretty used to it. The Dunbar herd had been used to us going in there, but I really wanted to work on the Dunbar herd and getting in the right direction, which was the exit gate is what we wanted. We're, let's work on the exit gate so that when it comes time to round up, boom, we're going out this gate right here. And so that's what I practiced on when these guys were out here with me. Apparently this is the great uh, head, neck scratcher here. One of the other things I want to talk to you about is my wife has been working very hard. And uh, I know you guys have probably seen her uh, a lot more on our videos. And she's been spending a lot more time on the ranch with me, of course. Uh, husband and wife ranching it, right? Uh, with Brooks as well. But Brooks goes to school. But my wife has been able to help a lot more. And we're going to talk more about that in the future. Marissa has been working very hard on merchandise. She's got a lot of cool new designs done and been putting a lot of work into it. And so with that being said, what I want to say is uh, we're going to do our fall drop. It's going to be on Friday, November 17th is when we're going to do our drop, guys. Friday, November 17th, we're going to do a drop. It's a whole lot of stuff we've never put out before. We're going to have more jerky. I will tell you that. We're going to have a lot more jerky back in stock. And I know people have been reaching out to us for that. We've got more jerky coming and then 100% uh, bison jerky, by the way. We're excited about some new stuff that we've never had before. And if you love bison, not just cross timbers bison, not just CTB, but uh, just bison. If you're a big fan of these guys and just love them, you'll like what we have coming. And that's a great way to support us, guys, of raising these animals. It's not cheap what we do, right? Putting in new gates and stuff like that and... Um, you know, cubes, hay, all those things are expensive. It's a great way to support uh, local producers, uh, local ranchers, first generation bison ranchers. Um, you know, we got bills to pay just like everybody else. And so um, here's a great way to support us if you're interested in doing that. We've got jerky and new merchandise coming, guys. Uh, and then we'll have some new meat products coming this December as well. So stay tuned for that. Roundup Fall 2023. Got the family. Marissa behind the camera. Brooks, Maya, Jackie, Eleanor. Here it is right here. First step. We've had Pasture One resting, which is right here where we are. Have Pasture One resting for two or three months. A lot of rest time. We've also done some plumbing in here where we ran our ladder lines. And so we've had to get that covered and everything set. So it's good for this pasture to rest because we had other stuff going on. But here's our first step in our fall 23 roundup. Moving the Big Joe herd, rotating here in the pasture one. And then, of course, as you know, we still got one more herd. The Dunbar herd will be making their way up here very soon. We're gonna open the gate and they should just come in. They actually met us here. Didn't have to do anything. I do have a sack of feed, but they should just come in and uh, start eating, actually. So, Big Joe's ready to go. 
Big Joe, ready to go. I like that. Let's do it. Oh, hold on, hon. I wasn't recording. Just kidding. Yep. <laughs> open this I'll open this and then uh, swing it towards us I'll come back and then we'll back up and give them plenty of room do you want me to pull up and back up then or something no I'll just come back Jackie what are you doing Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you guys soon.